What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have another unboxing for your faces. So I just uploaded another Biggest Airsoft unboxing. This video's already done super, super well. So if you have not watched that video, go watch that. But if you've already watched it, hopefully that's why you're watching this. So by the title, you can probably tell what kind of gun I got. This is a new gun. I actually reached out to Fox Airsoft and I was like, hey, I'm interested in getting one of these. I know you guys have them in stock. Would you by chance want to send me one and I can review it and then send it back to you? And so they were like, yeah, sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and send you out one and then you can do a unboxing and then review on it and then send it back. And I was like, sweet, because I have wanted one of these since I saw them come out. I don't know exactly how long they've been out. I think it's like six months, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe a little bit more. Half the time I don't know now with time wise because everything just feels like it's flying quickly with college and then I have a four month summer break. But without further ado, let's hit it. So there's the box, just normal ASG box. Um, I have not, it's actually I believe the first ASG box that I've opened but I've seen the unboxings of them. You got your foam in here. You have your CZ805 bread A1 slash A2 manual. Pretty much everything you need in there kind of shows you some pretty detailed pictures, good colors, good marketing, whatever. I'm a marketing major in college as well, so that just kind of cool to see that. And dang, this is actually pretty cool. I like it. Um, two tone, so it's a black lower FDE top. I love it when gun companies do this. I love it when I know VFC does it with their scars. They have those. Um, I just like it when companies will change the Avalons are very uh, FDE as well as black. Um, just like the combination of, of tan and black. I know a lot of people don't, but I really do. First impressions of this are pretty good. It, it feels pretty good. It feels a little bit weird how that mag goes in. And it looks different. I mean, it looks, I can't, I feel like the body looks kind of like a scar. The stock looks like a folding, it reminds me of a folding AK-47 stock. Nothing too fancy there. You got a cheek riser, it looks like. Nope, I don't think it rises at all, but it actually feels like I didn't lock in there feels pretty comfortable I kind of like the it's got a nice weld kind of like I feel like it conforms to your face pretty well I'm gonna do a more in-depth review so this is just kind of my first impressions looking at it it's got ambi mag release which is nice I don't know how I feel about this mag well it's kind of thick honestly it looks like it'd be like an SR25 mag well you can just tell it kind of that's a pretty darn thick mag well it just feels a little bit small to put the M4 mag in there I guess it tapers a little bit so it, it's got decent insertion the mag it doesn't feel like it'd be clunky or that it'd run in the way or anything looks like you got flip up sights these are pretty nice seem pretty nice and flip up rear sights plastic so not super high quality but not bad at all the body looks like it's primarily made the top is metal it looks like so upper upper receiver i guess if you can call it that is metal and then bottom is some sort of polymer material but it feels very solid i mean it's not no creak no wobble um, I like the I like that it's ambi, um, helps those left-handed shooters out. I'm right-handed and a part of the majority, but good selector switch. A little bit different selector switch. Uh, good old orange tips on there on the side. That's a cool gun, cool little gun. I'm excited to do a review on this. I'm excited to go ahead and shoot this out, shoot some targets in the review. It's a, it's a cool little thing. I won't be able to go play with this, obviously, but I like it. I don't know how I feel with the trigger still. Just. Just first impressions, first unboxing. I figured I'd do this just a quick short video because I know you guys like watching unboxings and you're going to be like, hey, now Alec Mack, where's the review? And so I will do that as well. But so far, first impressions are very favorable. I like this gun. It looks pretty. It feels pretty good. Sights are eh. But we will get into the review later. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mack 111, and I'll see you later.